I'm Matt Bauer for My Computer Works, and thank you for watching this video in our How My Computer Works series. In this video, I'd like to show you some more useful tips for using Microsoft Word. These tips will mainly apply to Microsoft Word 2007 or 2010, so if you have version 2003 or earlier, your steps may vary. This is part two of Microsoft Word. Inserting graphics. You can illustrate your content or just make it really stand out by including graphics such as pictures and clip art in your documents. To add a picture, simply select the Insert tab and click Picture. From there, you can browse your computer for the image you want and select Insert. To insert a clip art image, select the Insert tab and click Clip Art. The Clip Art task pane will open on the right side of the screen. In the three fields that are provided, you can search for a specific topic in the collections provided by Microsoft. After clicking the Go button, the search will return a list of applicable clip art. Once you have found the clip art you want, just click the image once and it will be added into your document at the location of the cursor. All graphics can be resized by selecting the image and clicking one corner, then dragging the cursor to the desired size. Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar is a customizable toolbar that contains the most often used Microsoft Word features for fast and convenient access. It is located in the upper left-hand corner of the screen next to the Microsoft Office button. You can move the Quick Access Toolbar to two possible locations, either next to the Microsoft Office button or below the ribbon. To do this, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar drop-down arrow. You can click Show Below the Ribbon to place the menu under the ribbon. or show above the ribbon to place the menu next to the Microsoft Office button. You can also add buttons that represent commands to the Quick Access Toolbar. To do this, right-click any of the commands in the ribbon. Then select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. To remove any of the shortcuts you have made, simply right-click the icon in the Quick Access Toolbar and select Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. Another way to add a command to the Quick Access Toolbar is by, again, right-clicking any part of the ribbon and clicking Customize Quick Access Toolbar. On the left side, you are shown a list of popular commands. Select All Commands from this drop-down box to see a list of all commands. On the right, you'll see a list of the current Quick Access Toolbar commands. Simply click the command you want to add on the left, then click the Add button. To remove commands from the toolbar, simply select them and click Remove. You can also adjust the order of the commands in the toolbar with these buttons. When you're all done, click OK. Your changes will be updated in the toolbar. Quick Reference Guide For those of you who are new to Microsoft Word 2007 or 2010, 
or if you're just more familiar with the 2003 version of Microsoft Word, there is a handy quick reference guide made available to you by Microsoft. This convenient interactive reference guide helps you find your favorite Microsoft Word 2003 commands in the new 2007 or 2010 interface. Simply click the link just below this video and you'll be taken to the interactive reference guide. Just hold the mouse pointer over a Word 2003 menu or button to learn its new location in Word 2007 or 2010. To see an animation of the location of the command or button in Word 2007 or Word 2010, just click it. As always, if you have any questions about this particular video, or if you have any comments or suggestions for what you'd like to learn about, go ahead and send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. If you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, you can go ahead and call the number you see below or just visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer for My Computer Works. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.